Hi everyone, I'm Honeywell to episode 6 of our Colony Ship Challenge Let's Play. Um, when we last left off, we were waiting for the materials to finish our factory. Ow! Are you kidding me? <laughs> we just cannot catch a break. What time is it? Where is our engineer? We have two engineers now. Let's see if, uh, if someone will go out there. Elsa. Good job, Elsa. But move faster. Actually, it's not even going to matter. As soon as she goes over there, and that starts to be repaired, it'll be able to accept energy, and we don't need all of that to begin with. And I have all of these, these plans in my mind, and I think we're going to... I think I'm going to slow those down and make sure we get our next our next power collector in because 8 for a large solar panel and 5 for and 5 for a power collector 13 metal is kind of a big ask um this still this early in the game. So I think we'll, before I get carried away with expansion, I'm going to split this up. We're producing energy that we're not uh, putting in reserve. And that will also give us a little bit of meteor protection. So I like that. We'll get our factory up, and so it's not a complete waste. We'll be sure to get our semi conductor uh, foundry or whatever they're called up as well so we'll be working on those which will fund our robotics factory so even though we might not be making putting up the buildings that I was kind of hoping to because really a lab a storage and a control center were kind of big ticket items on my want list but I think we'll uh, I think I'll be content with the the factory knowing that we're working on the getting our robots and we've run out of spares uh, but we're we're fine we better be fine yeah, we have three metal, so it's going to be on its way here. We have more ore. We don't have to turn anything off, so we can uh, have our mine and processing plant going continuously, which is an absolute pleasure. Our food is still stacking up. So, uh, yeah, let's do, let's do a meal maker. And we'll put back a... I, maybe we'll even put... Be all crazy and give them a potted plant as well. <laughs> I cannot even... Begin to know how many times I've uh, put up and taken down TVs and plants in this, in this playthrough. I, this is not the normal way that I play. Okay, first things first, um, let's get a few spares made, um, and when I mean a few spares, that's our, that's really what I mean, our spare limit is going to be two, that is plenty, um, the solar panels do not chew through the spares like they do the uh, wind turbines, and we only have two of them. So having two on hand is enough. 
Uh, the same way with the food. All I'm concerned about is having enough. I don't need a lot of extra any of this. Uh, my storage does not um, become overwhelming until until the late game where you're pretty much forced to churn out churn out all kinds of stuff just to uh, just to feed the population. But while we're growing like this, um, I'm really more about just producing what we need. I have no desire to uh, stockpile spares or anything like that. The exception is I like to stockpile med kits because I use those to trade. But other than that, I I seem to be unique in that in that regard. I don't like a lot of extra on hand. I want just what I need. And if I start to build up a, a stockpile of something, I want to be using it. And we have a metal somewhere, so hopefully that will I'm going to put I'm going to put this on priority because I don't want our engineers carrying anything when <sighs> I forgot they always prioritize external structures silly me and this wasn't on I didn't have that on priority so I don't know if they would have brought it they would have brought that metal to the spares workshop or if they would have still prioritize the external buildings. I guess that's a test I should look at next time. Never hurts to know how the game works that way. You can plan around. Okay. Water. Power collector. And I think we might have our power grid go down this way. It's a huge space. I think we're going to move all of this away from our ship and put it all down there. Uh, speaking of that, our food, our food is going up. Which means our colonists can go up. Which means, let's see, what are the default landing permission? We have five workers, but I want another engineer now, which actually 20% would give us an engineer. I don't want another medic yet until we get the lab up. Another biologist isn't needed. 2550, that would guarantee an engineer instead of a worker though, so I don't want that. 55, that would be plus 10 to worker and this would be requiring math what is that eight no seven seven so we'd get if we were getting one person we would get a worker if we were getting two people we'd get a worker and a, and an engineer if we get three people I have no idea what we would get okay I like that we'll test that so we are expecting a worker if we get one person if we get two people, we are expecting a worker and an engineer. It's anybody's guess what we would get for three people. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. What a difference having everything up makes. And our spares are done too. Brilliant. 
Usually I would, if I were producing more, that means that we want to get our semiconductor foundry up. Is that, what is that called? Yeah, semiconductor foundry. Uh, if, usually if, if I were producing more spares and I didn't have a storage set up like this, uh, what I would do is recycle uh, the spares workshop to force the spares to come out of it so they could restock it. But since uh, I have the limit set at two and that's what we have, I'm perfectly fine to leave that as is. And do we have anything to trade? No. Six, the only thing that I would want from a trader right now is ore and starch or metal and plastic and that's all I have to trade so there's no point in that. I would love, absolutely love a drill bot patent but even in, I couldn't scrape together enough to get one so there's no point in that. And it looks like we used, our colony ship is empty, we used up all of our medical supplies. But we can't do medical supplies until I get, until we plant uh, medicinal herbs, which means maybe, maybe I should be looking at a larger biodome first. Canteen storage because because why? Storage control center, new flight pads. Storage, a large biodome, and a bar. Storage, bar, large biodome, and a bar for visitors. Shoot, I didn't even see who came out of there. What did we get? I have no... Well, we didn't get a worker because we had five, so we got one, and what we got was an engineer. Why is our status only decent? What's wrong with us? Oh, people are tired? And people, uh... <laughs> and people are laying in bed with broken bones. Who is laying in bed? Jamie. I think Jamie. <laughs> I think if we could, we would fire Jamie. There, she's obviously, obviously doing something wrong. And everyone is going to bed, and I am not turning off the power. I will not soon forget. Wow, we're using a spare already? Well, that's okay. Um, because we fell down below the the threshold we we set, someone is going to produce more. Someone is going to try and produce more, but they're not going to be able to because there's a spare in the workshop. But that's okay. I don't care. But I do want to set my semiconductors to three. Um, I have it set for three because we need two for a uh, bot repair and then we need a spare to uh, to build our first robot. So three initially and then I'll reduce that down to two. And we have our water which I actually don't even want one. Uh, because the similar to, I didn't think to change the landing permissions. Okay, we had two workers. That's beautiful. I'm not upset about that at all. But that, I forgot about our food. <laughs> okay, so... Uh,
so we're going to turn that off for the next little while. I think we'll be perfectly fine on food. But, but I don't want to push our luck. We have nine meals and only 14 colonists. We, I think we're good. Three meal makers and we still have some uh, food on the ground. I, I think that's absolutely fine. And it looks like they ignore the the priority on the indoor structures and and just take the metal out to the out to the building projects but that's fine it all needs to get done I would have preferred to have the metal for it how is the power low no no don't do this to me Okay, well, I guess it's, uh, I guess that large power collector wasn't just me being, uh, proactive. It's, uh, it was actually necessary. I only added this one little building. I thought for sure it'd be enough power for longer than that. Okay, there's our fifth, so our sixth ore is, our sixth metal is going to go into our semiconductor foundry and once that's in place, if we don't have, if we haven't used the spare, I'm going to recycle this just to get those on working as well. I have three engineers, so I'd rather have them working. It's kind of a waste for them not to be. Okay. This has the materials now, so that is good. And we'll see how much more power we can get out of this large solar panel. And we are going to have some uh, robots soon. And we have metal. So yeah, let, we're going to recycle this and put it back. So they'll get started on more spares. Well, I think this is the end of the episode. We accomplished... Jesus. Jesus. I wonder... I don't remember there being this many meteor strikes. They have uh, played havoc with our power grid over here since we got here. So... <laughs> so maybe that... No. Even if I got the control center up... We're not ready for meteor lasers and whatnot. Okay, well, all that will be for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and the likes and the comments, they're appreciated. And I hope you'll join me for part eight.